So, welcome to my studio. It's small, but it's home, and uh, I really enjoy this space, and I'm very grateful to Josh Addison uh, from Bell Arts for putting on this great art area for us. Um, maybe I'll just show you some of the things that I'm working on right now. Uh, this is the beginning of the wall for the face of Ventura. We have painted... Um, six uh, sitters so far out of the 52 and we are doing uh, the seventh today. Um, as I said they're all done from life um, in about two to three hours to start starting to finish. Um, and then uh, right here behind me I'm working on a portrait of Charles Lawton, the um, British character actor and that is for the Players Club in New York um, that I need to get finished by the end of this month. Um, it's my fifth portrait going into the Players Club. Um, I was very privileged to paint Norman Rockwell for that club, which was one of the highlights of my portrait career so far. And was my thinking also behind the face of Ventura project. Um, you know, I want these 52 squares to be mounted as one uh, big portrait uh, at the end of the project, not quite sure where yet. Um, but I had seen this um, square, actually Sheldon gave it to me, of uh, Norman Rockwell's uh, heads all put together. And that was kind of my thinking behind, you know, having a big square of, of the heads uh, representing Ventura. And also I loved the fact how Norman Rockwell uh, pa painted uh, the people from his town, um, you know, in his paintings. And those people, you know, and their legacy really has lived on uh, to this day because they were real people being featured in the paintings. And I've always found that rather charming about Norman Rockwell's work. Um, so then I have a pretty much a, a traditional um, a, a child's a portrait commission um, here on the big easel. Um, just a very, uh, you know, traditional uh, a portrait that I'm working on. It's, it's, it's as, you, as you can see, a work in progress right now. Um, it's always hard to show your works in progress, but I do believe, um, you know, in having an open studio, and I definitely want uh, children and young people to see me paint some of these uh, heads from life. I think the Ventura Visitors Bureau has offered to um, host me to paint a few of them from life there, so people can see the process of um, portrait art being painted from life. Uh, that is also a, an appealing part of the project to me, that people who wouldn't normally perhaps be exposed to the art of portraiture um, you know, in the, in the present day, uh, get exposed to it and, and learn a bit about it. Um, oftentimes people feel that, you know, uh, portraiture is very irrelevant in uh, 2011 with, you know, digital photography and, uh, you know, a, a, photogra a photograph will do just as well. But there is something quite special that happens uh, between the painter and the sitter uh, during, during a portrait sitting, which you can't, I don't think you can get um, that... Um, thing quite the same way with a photo, in my opinion, uh, from my art form perspective. Okay, um, what are we in for? What's coming up? You like art, right? I really do. We can have a lot to talk about, because <laughs> I want to hear all about that. What I'm going to have you do first is um, pop up on the mom stand, okay. and we'll get you comfortable. I'm going to look how, how your face moves under the light. That's the first thing I'm going to do, okay? Well, I can say that's something that I've never had anybody <laughs> ask me to do. <laughs> it's all good fun. Oh, look at those fun. boobs. Those are so gorgeous. Well, you know, I'm a little height challenge, so I always those I, are I feel beautiful. so much. Can we paint those as well? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely love, I did those shoes yesterday. I'm all about shoes. So I... I usually don't wear high shoes when I paint, but in, in honor of, you know, you and the camera, I've got <laughs> high shoes on today. <laughs> yeah. oh, good. All right, so I'm just going to um, have the most important thing is to be comfortable. Okay, so these pillows can be a little bit too much sometimes, so just get real comfortable in the red so riding like cake. if too. we were just yeah. having a chat? Exactly, okay. exactly. I love, I love the pink on that's really pretty. Well, thank you. Yeah, exactly, that's really nice. Feel comfortable? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Quite cozy. It is cozy. It's small but cozy in here, which is the good news. Now I'm just going to look at your face, and uh, I hate having any pictures or anything taken of me, so um, I think this bit's always a little uncomfortable for people, but I'm 
just going to move your face around a bit. So if you just go to a the window oh. there. squinting a lot when I look at you, that's so I can uh, see the light and shadow shapes on, on your face. And that's um, also why I use a single source light on you. Use a very simple light setup. Let's bring the it's really in. exciting to be in your studio where you actually <laughs> work in. I actually work here every day. It's it's the deal. It's pretty good. Well, that's pretty special about this place. I had I volunteered for a couple of years out at the university mm -hmm. uh, with the artists there. Okay. And oh, that was mean sky art. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. That okay. was my favorite thing. Isn't it great you, though? You never knew what artists were going to be in yeah. the studio. Yeah. But it was just this energy. Uh -huh. They were working. They were creating. Yeah. yeah. You could take a peek. And yeah. See what was going on. Mm -hmm. But I would volunteer for the reception. So ah, okay. lots of energy. You're getting ready for yeah. a reception. Mm -hmm. It was great. I was with Sky Art for actually, I think about two and a half years uh, in the Oxnard um, um, the one satellite thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. So um, I have very fond memories of Sky Art and Michelle the Queen Pat Levin. And and Maggie Pat and Maggie too, that first invited me to say, come volunteer, come help us with these yeah. events. They're really a lot of fun, and they were. Really lovely ladies, all of them. Many good people there. And I think I've heard it's going great their new place, the new location. Mm -hmm. So that's all good. All right, so um, let's see now. I'm going to start to do the little measurements. Just come through here a sec. This is my most useful tool in painting, the chicken <laughs> satay stick. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I this love is the that. secret to it all. <laughs> so I'm just going to look at your face a little bit. Okay. Um, during the drawing stage of um, the uh, sketch, I'm usually concentrating on so I made it a little bit quiet during that bit. Okay. This is a little, uh, it, it's certainly less invasive than your picture because many times you're fixing your hair and you're changing yes. your face. Are we yes. not there yet? No, no, we're no, good. <laughs> you, can, you can chit chat, it's fine. Do you remember school pictures? Oh, I, yeah. It was always, you know, you'd brush your hair and you'd get ready, and then of course they would take your school photos right after recess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we know. And those pictures last a long time, don't red. they? <laughs> oh yeah. Because you know, Grammy likes to have every year for the last twelve years. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have two daughters, right? I do. You do. I have two daughters too. Yours are seventeen oh, you and do? twelve, right? Yes. Yeah. Mine are a little bit older. Um, but I remember particularly, you know, with them, the the uh, school picture day was a big deal. It is. Yeah. But there's something about your own photo, that reflection of yeah. yourself back. Yeah, and I think so many times how we feel about ourselves isn't necessarily what you see in a picture. Exactly. I'm just going to put a, a little bit of background cloth behind you. Okay. Um, I like your pink top. I feel like putting a little splash of pink and brown in the background. I can't really explain that. It's just a feeling thing. <laughs> it works. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Uh, it has been, I would say... Uh, the day has been an amazing day. So Appreciate tell me about this morning. Well, what we, we were had doing. Um, this great opportunity to come together and have a huge countywide collaboration that mm -hmm. the gets to be a center of. So right. I was at the County Board of Supervisors today, mm -hmm. and we were chatting about that, and they've agreed. So this is this countywide effort. There will right. be dozens of nonprofits and service groups right. and public and municipalities. Mm -hmm. 
and food share really getting to wrap themselves around all of these organizations and in the end to help people access more food, mm -hmm. uh, specifically around CalFresh. Sorry. Which is, that's okay. Yep. Are you okay? Good, good, good. And uh, which is finding that available food. Mm -hmm. It's so important. And CalFresh has had an extreme makeover mm -hmm. of sorts. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is help change that paradigm, help change that idea of if you need help mm. and if this helps you have gas in your car so mm -hmm. you can stay at work and pay your mortgage or your rent, take right. the help. Yes. It, it's a good, healthy way to help you stretch your dollars. Right, right. Because most of the people we help, they work. Yeah. They literally, really? you know that saying, no. that what if is usually answered with, I, I want to help. You do, I mean, and it's, it's, it's huge. so based on just uh, somebody's ability to really demonstrate compassion. Yeah. And uh, I think that's where it all centers from. And, and compassion. My first feeling was I was going to do the People of Heritage Square. Uh -huh. Anyway, for one reason or another, that didn't happen. It just never gelled. Um, and you know, the energy has to be right in the project, and it, it just it just wasn't there. So um, I painted Sheldon um, in. Uh, June, July, and we were talking about, um, you know, this idea I had that I wanted to process I've had over the last couple of years. Every five dollars in benefits that this program de um, delivers to a family, uh, yeah, and in the end, oh, those yeah. that really need the help most, get the help, mm -hmm. right? Because the Boys and Girls Club come up with a number, and I'm not sure how it even happens. And again. the conversation, and I, I love it, and that it will be beyond the project itself, that living idea yeah. oh where yeah. it extends no, no. and it it's keeps the conversation going. 